Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name is Scott Wilson and thank you very much for enrolling this course firstly. Um, I welcome you all and um, in this video we're going to get started just talking about what we're going to be doing in this course, um, also what kind of software you're going to be needing and the, just really the what we're going to be doing essentially. So we're going to be making a video game using uh, two programs, one's called Unity and the other one is actually a plugin for Unity called Uscript. So let's just talk a wee bit about what the two programs do. And we'll start off with Unity. Unity is a game engine used for making video games. Um, it kind of takes all the kind of elements of game development and stuffs it all into a easy to use interface. Um, back 10 years ago there was no such tool like this. Um, game development was all about kind of heavy programming. Um, ever, all the kind of disciplines were very different and um, you needed a large team to actually to work on this. Um, things like artwork and audio would have to be programmed in. Level design was done very um, code specific and so on and so forth. And all these game engines were um, usually made from the ground up as well. So what this kind of toolkit allows you to do is it's an interface that kind of streamlines the whole process so it's easy to bring content in. It's easy to see what you're doing. You can actually visually see how your level looks um, using a, what's called a viewport and it just makes development so much easier. Um, Ten years ago development was so much more difficult and I've been in this industry for uh, roughly about six to eight years now. Um, I was originally very into um, video editing and graphic design and then I made a transition into uh, game art myself. And what's kind of sparked this course um, was really my inability to, to learn how to program because I've always had a very artistic background um, from doing art and graphic design, video, and then like I said, back or over to games. So everything for me has been uh, visual. And whenever I wanted to actually learn how to develop games, I was always at this very, um, just this very harsh kind of learning curve trying to learn how to program and I still can't program to save my life. Um, I'm only proficient in a uh, in HTML, CSS and something called MacScript um, and a wee bit of JavaScript as well. So the, the main programming language for Unity is uh, C Sharp and JavaScript and also another script or another language called Boo. Um, and then in this course we will be doing none of those. Um, promise you that. Um, sometimes we may get some snippets of code that we get from the, the script forums but apart from that everything we do is in a visual scripting interface which means that we're dragging and dropping blocks. Um, and it's especially popular with uh, younger audiences as well especially children and kids who are learning how to program. There's a MIT project called Scratch which is used um, heavily in what's called coder dojos and these are used to kind of introduce um, kids to scripting and it uses a very similar drag and drop node interface and every node is a specific function such as a node like um, on key press which basically means if a keyboard is pressed and then that's linked into what's called a function and a function is literally the, the, the function what's going to happen so maybe if you're holding down the, the up arrow then an object is going to transform or translate which all that means is that it's just going to move forward. So uh, back to Unity really. Um, Unity is a game engine. It processes all the programming, the code, the audio, all into a, an outcome which is the video game itself. There are other game engines available such as Source which is made by Valve, uh, Unreal Engine made by Epic Games um, and you have CryEngine as well which is made by Crytek. And then in a lot of other studios um, they use their own um, homebrewed engines. Basically the programmers create their own game tools or their own engines for just that studio to use. So that's a wee bit on Unity. And how do you actually get Unity is very easy. You just google the term Unity and you'll be brought to this website. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you just find the download button. And whenever you go to download you just download the latest version 4.5.4. Um, there is um, a beta version of 4.6 although um, just stick to 4.5.4. I'm on 4.5 myself and the, the .4 is just a small iteration really. Um, hopefully towards the end of the year or next year version 5 of Unity will come out and like all game development software it's, it is a key changer. Um, the, the industry is constantly evolving and changing especially with software and hardware but not to worry. Um, 
the the use script um, will work in it's worked in earlier versions of Unity such as three, uh, of course four, and there's no reason why it won't work in version five either. But that's not coming out for a wee uh, a wee bit anyway. So you uh, you download version four five four, and it will download. It's about a one and a half gig download, and you are entitled. There are two uh, flavors of Unity. There's the pro version and there's the free version. Uh, the pro version has advanced features like uh, real-time shadows, reflections, image effects, so on and so forth. Everything that we are doing will be using the free version of Unity. But whenever you download Unity for the first time, if it is your first time using Unity, you will need to register for an account. It is free to register, but um, it will give you a 30-day trial of Unity Pro, which is great to have. And then once the 30 days are up, you will then be downgraded to the free version. However, the free version is great because you can um, you can publish to all the major platforms such as PC, Mac. Um, you can also port to web players, which is great for um, publishing your games for for the web. Um, HTML5 support is coming very very soon. You can also for free port to iOS and Android, which is fantastic. This came about a year ago, um, and it's been really really handy. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a wee bit in Unity. So now let's talk a wee bit about uh, Uscript. And what Uscript is, it's the visual scripting tool um, for the game engine. Um, everything that you make in Uscript is compiled into, uh, into C Sharp. So you don't actually have to see any of the code. But if you want to, you can then look at it later on and you can tweak it if you are a veteran of, uh, of programming. Um, at the moment, Uscript is still in beta and it has been for quite some time. And then there is a 50% discount. If you are interested in buying it, I can't recommend enough to get it. It's $95. Um, I paid that in euros. I can't exactly remember how much it was. But um, that is 50% off and it is a bargain for what you can do with it. Now, because you're using, uh, we're going to be using, well, you'll be using the free version. I do have the, the license for it. Um, your game will have a watermark in the top left of your screen. However, I promise it's not actually that um, disruptive in, t in terms of gameplay. It won't actually make any change to your the final outcome that we do. Um, <clears throat> so to get to get you script, all you need to do is go to detoxstudios.com or just uh, Google you script, and we just find the the download links which are located under products, download you script. And you can sign up for what's called the personal learning edition, which allows you or organizations to use Uscript in a non-commercial capacity for educational and evaluation purposes. So for your purpose, it is for educational, which is fine. So download it, you just put in your name, your email address, and you will get a link with the download for it. And all it is is a Unity package, and we will look at actually installing this package in a later video. Um, so Uscript is fantastic. It's it's. Um, complete kind of I'll just bring up the, the script here and this might seem a bit crazy at the start but I'll just kind of break down what's happening here so we have an input event and all an input event is basically you're pressing a button on your computer and then that gets filtered into an events filter and all that's doing is it's looking for a key code so for example the key code W so it's looking for an input of W and this just links like a little uh, spider diagram and then when the input's being held, so if the W key's being held down, we transform an object. And all this means, it's a, it's a translate, so all it's doing is it's moving an object. It's moving a target object, uh, which is a cube, and it's moving it in a certain direction. So if we hold down the W key, your, your cube just moves forward. You can also move backwards in any direction you want. And that's just one example. Another example would be pressing the space key. And what this does is it will spawn an object, such as a bullet and that will just spawn it in a certain direction. So it's really, really easy to get started and to start creating scripts. And we will be doing this in a couple of videos, not just yet. So that's a wee bit about Uscript and Unity. Sorry, I'll just go back to my page here. Um, so it is essential that like, you do download these two programs. And now just to talk a wee bit about the game that we're actually gonna be making. So this game currently is a work in progress. Um, from the time of writing this uh, this video tutorial. Um, the game is a, tw a dual stick shooter, also known as a twin stick shooter. And all the, that kind of game is, it's basically, you're looking at down at the top of your player and you're moving using the arrow keys or a thumbstick or a controller. And you're aiming using either a mouse or a right thumbstick 
or a thumb wheel, whatever it is, and you're just killing an ongoing um, amount of enemies. Um, I will just kind of reference some other games that are similar to this. Uh, one being Minigore. Minigore is an iOS game uh, on the, the iPhone, and it might be on uh, Android as well. And it was a very popular game a couple of years ago where you uh, play as this guy, um, I'm not sure what his name was, but you're just fighting against waves of enemies and you, you get score and you have some health bars. And that's all it was. Um, during the game you would pick up objects such as health and new weapons and so on. And the objective of the game was to get a high score and then to replay to beat your high score. And there was elements of leaderboards in there as well. So in this in this course we will be using those kind of mechanics, those game mechanics, such as movement, shooting, scoring, health pickups and so on. So just one thing to bear in mind folks is that this game, or sorry, this course is not to build a fully finished, polished game, okay? We're not focusing on artwork at all. Um, what I might do is if there's a demand for it and if you guys want, and um, because I am a game artist myself, I will do a separate course on creating a uh, game art for this type of game as well. But we are purely focused on actually building the mechanics, the game levels, the rules associated with this kind of game type. And this um, this won't just limit you to these type of games. You'll be able to use the, the skills that we've learned on this course to actually apply it to other games, such as first person shooters, third person, uh, role playing games, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's not limited in that sense. It's really just to give you, um, this is to give you an introductory knowledge to Unity, to Uscript, and how you can use that to make your own gameplay prototypes. And um, and then whenever you start placing your own artwork, um, whether you need to learn that yourself or I can teach you it, um, then you can actually go on to create a finished, polished game, okay? So it, it is, um, it's not a very long course, it's really just for the, the prototype, okay? Some more shots from this. Um, some other games such as Waves. Um, let me see Steam game. This was another very cool game made in the Unreal Engine and you control this little uh, sphere in the center and you're just firing against enemies and there's quite a nice uh, color and art theme to it. Um, and again it's it's very similar gameplay. Um, some other games such as Geometry Wars another very popular one. There's any amount of these dual stick shooter games out there. And all it is is shapes really. It's This is going to be closer to what our prototype will be looking like. Um, these kind of primitive shapes and colors, okay. Um, sometimes in some lessons I will actually give you assets to use as well such as um, textures or models as well, okay. So we're not always going to be working in cubes and solid colors. So with that, um, let's get started with Unity, and that'll be in the next lesson.